What's up, everybody? How's everybody doing today, man? Y'all just know how it go. It is your boy, B, back with another video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you don't know who I am, my name is Brandon Jones, and I specialize in helping you make an extra income. And today, we're going to be talking about how I started phone flipping. And I honestly want to tell you guys this from the rip, all right? I remastered, rebuilt a new phone flipping academy. This phone flipping academy comes with all of the updated information when it comes to phone flipping. If you don't know or haven't heard... There are a lot of fake replica phones out there. I break that down in the course. I also give you 30 minutes with me right after the class and you're put into a private discord with only Phone Flipping Academy members where we will be going over different techniques, updates, and prices um, for devices weekly. Now, the reason I wanted to remaster this Phone Flipping Academy, I wanted to rebuild it, was because I see a lot of people pushing out, hey, buy my course this, buy my course that. This is not a course. This is a course, a community, and also a connection. That is one of the biggest things that I feel if I was to purchase a course, I would need. I would need a course. I would need some type of, I said a course, an academy I would need. I would need some type of course that teaches me the basics and the fundamentals. I would also need some type of community that I can keep in touch and also help build with. Um, just in case I have a question or just in case I'm concerned about something or maybe I'm having a bad day and need some type of motivation, this community will help you with that. This community will give you inspiration. This community will answer your questions. This community is also built for you to be able to ask me questions, for you to be able to get phone prices. So, hey, Brandon, I took, I, I'm a phone academy member or I'm a phone academy student. I am thinking about buying my first phone, an iPhone 12 uh mini and I'm, I'm i'm trying to figure out what price i should put it we'll help you out with that all right now let me let me make this clear don't just depend on other people to make prices for you please 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 want this as bad as you want to breathe and want this as bad as you want um the the food from chick-fil-a or wherever your favorite food spot is or your go-to spot you go there and you already know what you want you know your full order you're expecting it to taste good it's the same thing when it comes to your business expect it to be great you want to make sure that you are getting into a community that is going to help you flourish help you grow um and also it comes with a call with me of course now when it comes to having a call with me everybody that has had a call with me already knows i go far above and beyond for you now let me tell you why let me tell you the real reason why when it when it comes to somebody booking a call with me i go far above and beyond because i understand how it feels to spend money that you worked hard for um on something that you technically don't know what you're going to get you don't know the information the person is going to give you you don't know if they're going to give you information that's valuable you don't know what type of things you have to be told to say you don't know if they're going to be like oh your 10 minutes is up or up oh, your 30 minutes is up goodbye listen i'm gonna tell you this straight up i am somebody that when you book a call with me i understand your investment when you buy any type of product from me i understand your investment so i try to make sure that i am responsible with making it make sense for you tailoring it to um you specifically and also building you up as much as i can i should be going the other way i'm gonna go the other way excuse me y'all um but when it comes to phone flipping the academy is available and guess what it's not a lot of money i'm not sitting here trying to break the bank it is 111 dollars um and i see all of these courses out here and people asking for a whole bunch of money and i'm not gonna lie i brought courses from these different individuals just so that i can know exactly what they're not offering so i can offer it um i've done things and researched and made sure that my course is the best period all right that is my goal my goal is to be the best that's it okay i like doing what i love but also being the best at it i don't want to do it half-ass you know um but nevertheless we're here to talk about how I started phone flipping, and this is what the academy is going to help you do, all right? Now, when it comes to phone flipping, why did I get started? I got started because I was broke, okay? And what I mean by broke, I'm talking about I was broke when it came to me having to rely on other aspects of business to make me money, like um, having to rely on customers coming into my store, having to rely on the products that I get from wholesalers to 
um, be good quality. Having to rely on workers to come to work so that they could open a store. I was broke in the aspect of not being able to control my narrative 100%. And that worried me. And everybody, if you have not already heard, I believe the videos on Educated Hustler should have heard my startup story on how I started, literally, um, how I came from New Jersey and, you know, how I work with Sprint and how I found out that, you know, you can buy and resell phones. But in this video, I, want, I don't want to reiterate the same thing for clicks or whatever. In this video, what I want to do, what I want to, do is I want to go more in depth in the phone flipping aspect. Like, how did I build my business? Like... How did I build it? And what's next, right? So when I say build, I'm literally talking about the phone flipping business. I'm not talking about just how I came up with the idea of getting started and all that. No, I want to say how I scale, right? So number one, when it comes to phone flipping, I already understood that it was money in it. I already understood that people needed it based upon me going out and getting and recruiting uh, people to buy phones with services before. So I already knew that people needed it. I knew it was a need. But what I did not know is I didn't know that there were actually people that were buying these phones in bulk and just cashing you out. Did not know that. I thought that I would have to find a consumer, which is fine too. Um, but I didn't know exactly um, the business model. So when I was buying phones and flipping them, I would buy phones from a Sprint store um, because I, I had a connect and I worked with Sprint. I was a business rep, supposedly. Um, but I would get the phones. I would pay the guy. I would pay the um, store owner for the phones. And then he, in return, wanted me to sell the service with the phones. Right. So his thing was, all right, give me like 150 for an iPhone 5C. And then in return, um, you can keep whatever cash you make after that. Plus, make sure that you get, you know, get them a service. Um, but me doing that, I, I I understood that like people needed the service because they needed to stay connected with the device. But more than that, I started to understand how important the device was to the to the customers in general. Back in the day, there was no real unlocked phone. Like you weren't really getting your hands on unlocked phones. People were just jumping the carrier, the carrier, the carrier. And Sprint at the time was like that carrier where they'll let you get away. And also they'll let you sit there and get a cheap, cheap plan. So I remember one day going into KFC to meet with somebody to sell them a phone and, and, and the uh, phone plan. And they cash me out. I would sell the iPhone 5Cs for 250. I would get them from the store owner for 150. Make a hundred dollar profit each phone. I sit in the KFC. I had a family of four, four um, iPhone 5Cs, and I made 400 dollars in less than 30 minutes, like 15 maybe, because I didn't have to set the phones up or anything because they were already set up. Like it was just literally just meeting them. Uh, and if they did want me to turn the phone on, of course, I probably would turn it on and all that, right? Now, it was at this moment when I made that $400 in 30 minutes, I understood like, okay, people really want these phones. Like these phones are really, really good um, as far as profit. Like for me to make $100 each device, I can only assume what the store owner was getting them for. That was like my mindset. So, boom. I was selling this service, but I was understanding I wasn't getting compensated for it. Like he wasn't paying me on how much I, how many people I got for the service. Like if I'm getting you activated with service, my brain thinks automatically, oh, this company is getting paid every month, right? And I'm not, right? I'm getting paid one time. So I started to like get away from buying phones from the store owner and instead, what I did was because I didn't want to sell a service anymore because I'm like, well, I'm selling service and pushing that, but I'm not really getting no money from the service. I'm getting money for the phone, but I can go on. It wasn't offer up at the time. It was like um, it may have been offer up and let go, but I can go on let go or offer up in Facebook and I can go ahead and buy a phone literally that is for Verizon 
and just sell the phone straight out to the customer and not have to worry about selling them service. But it also makes my customer base more wide and more broad. Like I, I, I would be able to access more customers and that's the way I was thinking of it. So what I did was I went an offer up and I got my first phone. <clears throat> I offered somebody some money. They said, yeah, I got the phone. The phone was locked. I posted it right back on offer up. It took me about a day or two to sell. I sold that phone, just took the other customer's um, SIM card from out their old phone, put in a new phone, and that's it. That was all. Like, it was it was easy peasy, lemon squeezy, right? So, me knowing that and that happening, I was cool with it. I was like, okay, well, um, now I could do Sprint, I could do Verizon, I can do AT&T. Those are like the major carriers at the time. It wasn't no Xfinity. So I'm like, I could do those and I'll be good. Boost Mobile. So I'm like, cool. Like now I got a huge customer base and I'm not being micromanaged and I don't have to sell no service because like, here's the thing with selling service. With selling service, when their phone gets cut off, they at you. When they have some type of issue or they're not happy with, with, um, the drop calls, they're at you. They're coming at you. They're not coming at the store owner. They're not coming at the store. They're coming at you. And that was like the, that was the negative at the the whole service portion is that like I had to literally do customer service and I wasn't getting paid for it. So once I started to see that I could effectively start to um, buy phones and then just some to consumers. I kept doing it and I kept repeating. I got real good at it. I lost a lot of money sometimes because I made bad deals. I'm not trying to make it seem like I did the best of the best because I didn't, right? But what I did do is I was able to learn that this was possible. Like I could do this for income, okay? So as I learned that, I was like, all right, bet. This is what I'm finna do. I am going to keep doing it. And then I'm going to bring such and such in. So I ended up, uh, I, end, I said such and such, but such and such is another rep. I just thought to myself, I just need to get more people. If I scale this and I get more people to sell phones for me, then, I mean, buy phones and then sell them for me to consumers, it's a win, right? So what I did was I sat there and I put up a post on Instagram. It was called Connect Wireless. And with Connect Wireless, I would have people literally um, apply doing, with a Google, it was a, a Google form thing on, on a link in my, I think it was Instagram at the time, a link on my Instagram. They would fill out an application. I would call them, do an interview. And all they would do is literally, they would know what inventory I had and they would go out and they would either try to sell phones I already have or I hired people to go and hit offer up, but I would only hire people in different states. So I would have three people in Philly, but two different, like they would have different locations, West Philly, North Philly, South Philly. Then I would have somebody in Jersey, North Jersey, South Jersey. Then I would have somebody in Delaware. And then I started to have a whole bunch of people in different places. Now, how was I paying them? Straight commission. So like they were getting paid per lead they gave me that converted. So if you were on offer up in Delaware and you were getting, you got me a phone and I, I brought the phone, I would pay you maybe $10, 5% of whatever, you know, I, I got it for. And they were able to make money doing it. And I was able to make more money just by having more people finding me leads. So that's how I first started to expand my phone flipping business. So one, I started and mastered it myself. Then I started to expand by hiring other people. I wouldn't recommend doing what I did because nowadays things are a lot more expensive. People don't want to work and people find their value more. Um, they, like they, they, they want to they wanna make more money. So their value is, is, is skyrocketed. Like back in the day, it wasn't like people really wanted to get paid a lot of money. So what I, what I would recommend is figuring out how to phone flip by yourself get it to where you can get sales all the time. You can get phones, sell them to consumers or to buyers. Cause I didn't know nothing about a buyer back then. So I was selling them all to consumers, but now here's the thing. You can sell them to buyers. 
you hire somebody in a different state, maybe you got a cousin, brother, aunt, sister in a different state, teach them what you know. And once you teach them what they know, what you know, tell them like, listen, we can go 60, 40 because we're using my money. We can do 50, 50 if we use your money and my money, like just figure it out. But scaling, that's how you take it to the next level. When you have other people uh, flipping for you and bringing you the phones because you can have them shipping directly to a buyer and then the buyer pay you and then you pay them or you can have them ship the phone to you. Then you ship the phone to the buyer. It's so many different ways to scale your phone flipping business. But that's the only way that you're going to make a lot of money. You want to make 5K. You want to make 10K. You're not doing it by yourself. It's too hard because you got to be in multiple places at once. And I'm assuming you already have a job that's funding this. So it's like, it's really hard. So the way I would definitely do it is by scaling. Um, so one, master your craft first. Two, scale. Three, I would say is you want to develop a connection with a buyer or buyers. That's why we have that phone flipping buyers price list. $80 gets you a connection to multiple buyers that's gonna just buy your phones. So now you can have people literally buying phones for you in different states and you already know, hey, this is going to be um, this price, right? You already know that you're going to get paid a certain amount of money. So it's like, it's a a win-win. And I go over this more in my phone flipping, um, my 30K phone flipping uh, class, which is on Monday and it's only $5. I go over scaling um, in that class. I go over how you can make this a business, how you can stop just doing it for just yourself, but also make it more lucrative, guys. Make it a syndicate, make it a network. I'm telling you, use all of the people around you to your benefit and you're going to succeed. That's how you make the money. It's not gonna be done by yourself. A business cannot be run by yourself. You need people around you. All right, guys, I hope this message helped someone somewhere, somehow. I appreciate you guys. I love you and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.